what I do want to talk to you about is what I'm seeing out in the world. Like the summer, we are in the middle of the summer, right? I mean, some of us, scary as it is, school's about to start. But re- for most of us, we're in the middle of summer and, and it's crazy. And whether we are trying to battle for listing inventory, whether we're trying to battle for our buyers to get them the, the home that they want, whether or not we're trying to manage kids' schedules or summer schedules or activities, it's completely in total mayhem. And some folks that I'm seeing are sort of taking a deep breath and they're taking a step back. And here's the thing, don't do it. This is not the time to sit back and enjoy the sun and the warmth on your face. There's a saying, and the saying is you make hay while the sun shines. And right now, the world, as we know it, has never been stronger. The market has never, ever, ever been stronger. And it will not stay this way. Mark my words, things go up and things come down. And right now, they've never been as high as they are right this second. So now is not the time to take a break. Now is the time, as we say in our office, the gas is on the right. Now is the time to go. So I want to give you um, a couple of different strategies to, to win the day. And here's, here's the motto, right? You cannot win the day unless you first win the morning. So I want to give you five tips to winning your morning. Ready? Number one, be intentional. Be intentional with your time. Everything that you do, if you create a list for your morning routine, right, from the time that you wake up and what you do, like I think about, I wake up at 5 a.m., I go immediately, I drink a glass of water, I brush my teeth, I go in, I make a cup of coffee, I have my Bible study, I read 10 pages. Every single one of those things is a win, intentionally winning, and I start my morning off as a winner. Win the morning, win the day. Number two, exercise. I know a lot of people have said it, but I'm going to give credit to my wife, uh, Shannon, be disciplined, who says you cannot be a one in one area of your life and a 10 in another. How you show up here is how you show up there and vice versa. Uh, So exercise, I don't care if it's 10 minutes, like I'm talking about, like grab your iPad and do a little yoga flow, whatever it means to you to get yourself, get your blood flowing. But exercise is an absolute key and critical component to winning your morning. Uh, Number three, affirmations. Now, listen, we hear all kinds of different ways we talk about affirmations. Most of them we hear, you know, somebody looking in the mirror and and saying, I'm good enough and I'm I'm funny enough. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about affirming other people in your life. What if you started with your kids? What if you started with your wife? What if you started started with the person that, that you work with simply sending a text to them just saying, hey, I appreciate you, right? What if you were the first person to affirm the value and the efforts of somebody else? Affirmations, number three. Number four, seek knowledge. Seek knowledge. The truth of the matter is, is that your car is awesome, but it's not gonna get very far without fuel. And I think of knowledge as your fuel. Um, I have a little trick I'm happy to share with you uh, when it comes to knowledge. I like sort of creating little contests, if you will, but, or organization around it. But pick somebody, pick one author, one speaker, one trainer, one coach. Um, and, and like I'm, I'm thinking of Darren Hardy because I know that Teresa loves Darren. Um, but pick his book. Like he's got a great book called The Compound Effect. So I'm going to read that book this month. He's got a great show called uh, uh, Darren Daily Um, and so and subscribe to it. So I'm going to see that every day. And by the way, check out whether or not he's got any conferences that are coming up in the next uh, 60, 90 days and plan to attend. That's a great way for you to compartmentalize one person so you can get really, really focused on seeking knowledge from one great leader. So seek knowledge. And the number five, transcribe transcribe. I know we think about journaling and I love it. If journaling's your thing, go do it. But it doesn't need to be journaling. It could be something like a blog, right? You could literally just say, hey, listen, I'm going to write every single day. And as I think of things that my clients have asked, like, hey, how about this CARES Act thing and the expiration of the moratorium? 
what a great article for me to write, uh, uh, a blog, an article, a social media post, um, an Evernote note, whatever it is, but write every single day and get that knowledge and those emotions and that information and that wisdom out of you. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but that spells beast, be intentional, exercise, affirmations, seek knowledge and transcribe. If you want to win your day, you have to first win your morning. So go out and win your morning like a beast. Bye, guys. Be distinctive.